Please tell me you saw how fucking fast that was, dude. I'm convinced I can take down about fucking, I don't know, four intruders at once. You ever just been way too confident <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, I'll fuck people up. Come through that door and I'll just fucking. Dude, you'll get fucking. You'll get clipped. What do you? Yo, I throw hands. I like all the terms for fighting now. You trying to throw hands? I'm like, uh, you can do whatever you want because you and your crew are about to get roundhouseed. Roundhouseed? <laughs> If you can't pronounce the self-defense moves you're about to perform, there's a very good chance you can't do them. So, I don't know. Know what that complex is? That is a 90s movies uh, syndrome, I call it, where you just have this uh, odd sense that you can just fuck up adults. I feel like there were so many movies growing up where there was clunky, dumb adults where children were making them look like stupid pieces of shit, like, regularly. Home Alone, like, come on. Home Alone, Harry and Marv were just getting smacked around by Kevin's dumb little ass. Dude, they would fucking throw him down the stairs real quick, take whatever the fuck they wanted from those houses. I don't even know what those people were trying to steal. There was really nothing in there, but uh, that movie... The Sticky Bandits. You don't see burglars anymore. Maybe there are. I don't know. In cities, you don't see. You just see fucking people intrude. There's intruders. There's not burglars. Maybe uh, Maybe there is. I just don't know. But uh, that movie, Three Ninjas. Jesus Christ. Three Ninjas. How many, how many little kids after watching these movies just got the shit beat out of them? Because they're like, well, now I'm... It's... <laughs> The case is solved. I can fuck up an adult, and there's no. I can I can beat the shit out of multiple adults, and there's no. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Three ninjas. I don't know if you guys saw that. Rocky, Tum Tum, and fuck. That was the other one's name. <laughs> oh fuck. Bam Bam. Wait, hold on. Three ninjas. Uh, names. Rocky was one. Tum Tum was another. Colt, I ah, Colt, get that. You want to be fucking, fucking want to be, uh, wait, was, who were, who were they? Colt was some wannabe Jonathan Taylor Thomas looking ass. That's weird how he's always cast. All these shows, like that and Home Improvement, there was like the, the bigger older brother, the middle kid was like the, trying to be the heartthrob kid, and then the young one was just some fucking piece of shit that. The young kid in like Home Alone, did he or uh, Home Improvement? Did he like end up marrying like a woman who was sixty when he was eighteen or some shit? And he sued his family. I'm gonna get back to that. Um, I grew up on those movies where just adults were getting rocked by children's haymakers. So obviously, I have this false sense, and I've never been in a fight. So like, I kind of think I can fuck people up, but uh, I don't need anybody uh, coming to a show and trying my luck. You ever think about, like, any sort of... I'm not a realist when it comes to natural disasters. Like, you ever think, what if my house caught on fire? Or what if there was a house on on fire? Would you survive or be willing to run in and, like, rescue somebody? Like, I don't know why. I just feel like I would just be eluding all the beams falling. And I would just be... Like, again, it's these movies that make it seem like it's possible. Watch too many action movies where... People are just darting into these burning buildings, and you're just like, oh, it's apparently it's not that bad. You know, I'm going to survive an earthquake because the building is not going to collapse in my area. A can of beans is going to roll over for some reason. I will open it with something in the area because I watched MacGyver, uh, and then I'm going to survive off that because I meditate, and my body slows my heart rate, and I... Right when I think I'm going to die, I see a beam of light come through, come out, realize everything's fine. And, uh, yeah, I just win the earthquake. Oh, a house fire? Well, guess what? Who's texting me? Somebody's, I'll tell you what that is. Um, A house fire? Yeah, I'm for sure getting out, you know. A burn, uh, 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 what's it called? 
a sinking ship. I've watched actually. There's a show on on, on YouTube called "I Shouldn't Be Alive." Fucking so badass, where it's actual stories of these people who are put in situations like this and they survive. And let me just tell you right now, I have that confidence. But when you watch this, you go, "Ooh, those guys! Uh, I would for sure get fucked up." Or I don't know if I'd make that. No, I don't think I can survive a burning building anymore. Is because and maybe if the adrenaline was like factored in. I don't think I can survive a burning building anymore simply uh, by the fact that when I was cooking the other day and the pot moved a little bit and my hand was just over the flame and it was just like, oh, there's things that are that hot. You know what I'm saying? Like we experience campfires from like here. You rarely, yeah, you maybe you throw something in, but when you feel heat like that close, you're like, oh, yeah, no, I'm going to literally melt. By the time I get out of my bed and try to run to the door, I'm going to run through a flame. It's going to be like a cartoon where just a skeleton goes through, and then I look at the camera, and then I go into a pile of dust. Yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to do that. I don't know why airplane crashes. I thought, see, again, it's just, you know, let's make realistic movies. I know that wouldn't be fun, but it's like I think we need to start doing that so people don't have these false senses of confidence where they can just, uh, you know, just kill it. I don't know. That show, though, oh, my fucking God. This one dude, it is insane. He, they're, they're all, like, wildly, you're just like, I can't imagine. They, I don't I don't think they're fake. I, I genuinely think they're true because, actually, there's, like, news footage and shit when they find the people but the one that stood out the most this is fucking crazy and you're gonna nut uh not probably not now but you'll be excited this guy dude it's like they sorry i'm just getting so i'm trying to like just make sure i remember all the beats because like the pre-story before the the tragic thing was even like intense as it was my dude him and his wife arguing whatever they got in a argument they fucking launched whatever happened they ended up getting a divorce she left him he's like fuck this bitch he's a sailor he's like a professional he has like a a yacht of some not a huge one but it's like a sailboat yacht whatever you want to call it my dude's like i need to just clear my mind this bitch is probably going to go on a rampage in the hometown of just getting plowed and he needs to just not be near that. So daddy's like, strap up the ship. We're going out. And, uh, you know, he's clearly still in the in the thing. He's like, I'm still feel like shit um, from the divorce. I'm going to find this and put this in the description of my YouTube so you guys can find this because it's that fucking good. And he depressed takes the boat out goes out clear his head he's like i'm just gonna go on a trip whatever cut to uh a storm hits you know obviously we know the whole idea of the show so a storm hits and it's in the middle of the night and he's like sleeping will you motherfucking stop um sorry i'm just popular Uh, and he, middle of the night sleeping, uh, storm hits, ship starts sinking. I don't know, I don't, I don't remember exactly how the ship started sinking, but it did. So, he's going to undo, um, the life raft. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess this part up. Basically... Or he gets the light. Okay, he gets the life raft out. Um, no. For the sake of this story, I'm gonna say it this way. He no. He has the life raft. Fuck. I'm sorry. I I just want to get this right because it's so fucking good. He gets the life raft out. It it inflates. Okay, and then he gets on it and he sees the ship sinking and he thinks to himself, "Fuck. The bag with all the survival stuff is still in the boat." And he's like thinking, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then finally he's like, I will not survive a day without that bag. My guy jumps back in to the sinking ship in the middle of the goddamn ocean. I'm just rooting this for you. (laughs) Why are you going to watch this if I just tell you everything? You have to watch it. I'll tell you this part. The The rest is 
equally, if not more, amazing and sad for this fucking dude. So just a little sizzle reel. <laughs> uh he has to, he dies back into the ship. Of course, something's stuck. Every time they go back in, why would it be easy to take out? Of course, it's stuck on something, and he has to use a knife to pry it out. In the last second, the ship's going down. My dude's fucking doing that. And, like, right there, I was like, I don't think I would do that. Like, diving into dark water. I don't like the ocean when I can see shit. Uh, let alone when I can't, and I'm in a vessel that's plummeting towards the bottom of it. So he gets it, gets on the boat. We're stopping there, but it's crazy. I feel like for my podcast, I should just say it. Why wouldn't you just say it? I don't think any of you are going to watch it. Fuck it. You're not going to watch it. I'm just going to say it. So he's on his boat, and then my dude... uh. Just every issue that can go wrong. He's on the boat. He's fucking. He has a thing that takes ocean water, desalinates it. I think is the term. Basically removes the salt. That thing broke, so he had to jimmy rig it and fucking make it to work. Where it was like working just enough, just enough to keep him alive. Uh, his food. He like he was very smart. This is like a smart guy. His food ran out, and then he fucking uh. Didn't need the fucking right there. Didn't need it there either. Uh, <laughs> his food ran out, but he here he like rationed it, and then right as like his you know he ran out of food. He's like, I'm all right. This is me. He's like saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna die now. I can't just survive on water. Uh, he makes like a spear and he catches fish in the middle of the goddamn ocean. You're like, what? So now he's like, let's go. Fuck that bitch, Debbie. I'm eating fish. Uh, I'm drinking water, and he's like, okay, now he's, like, surviving. Like, he knows he can catch fish. Maybe not always, but he has enough or some to keep him going. Mind you, imagine catching, like, some mahi-mahi. The dude's, like, is trying to survive, but he's also eating some, like, bomb-ass fish. <laughs> like, it's kind of a weird thing. Would you ever want to eat that again when you came back to the shore? Imagine, like, you want to get sushi? Uh, not really. I kind of ate it for uh, 70 days at the ocean. Ooh, did I just spoil the first part or the, the, the uh, part? So he's doing his thing, and then uh, he's doing his thing, and then fucking sharks come out of nowhere and cut his and like bite his because they're curious. They bit his life raft. The thing's draining. He had to, like, plug that somehow. His fucking water thing stopped. Dude, I'm just like, at what point, and he's just, like, at what point can he not catch a goddamn break? So he, you know, kind of patched it but didn't. He's, like, just just sitting in salt water that long. You just start getting all bloated and gross and shit. He's sunburned to fuck. Yeah, we need it there. We need the F word there. Sunburned to fuck. Uh, and then... You know, just fucking try not to die, basically. And like I said, he was, I think he was at sea for, he finally got caught or found, got caught. Somebody caught him. What are you doing out here? You can't be there yelling at him. He's like, I'm, what? <laughs> you can't be out here with your fucking little porn boat. Porn boat? I'm dying and I've been eating fish bones. Whatever, creep. <laughs> they fly, drive away. <laughs> Imagine getting hit by a boat. You're just waving at it, and then there's just fucking too hot to handle party on it. Woo! Woo! And he's just like, hey! Hey! Woo! <laughs> this fucking smoke his ass. <laughs> that would suck. And then he still doesn't die, and then he just goes back and fucking, uh, I know what you did last summer to the whole fucking cast and crew of that dumb fucking show. We're talking about that show right after this epic story of survival determination but i think it also what helps is like he he knew the shit like he was ready that's like what i'm that's what i'm scared about if like i I get put in these situations i don't know if i'm ready i gotta like what i have to take a survival class now um so anyways at sea 73 to 6 days i don't remember which it is which is insane to think about that is 2 months and Two working weeks. What the fuck? That's maybe or two weeks actually. 
at at sea. I'm like, I couldn't even. And the scary. This is like where I really try to like dive into these shows because I want to be like, you know, put your mind where, put your, you know, we're watching this. Put yourself in his shoes, Matt. See, I'm trying to get really good at like slowing the fuck down. Put yourself in his shoes. That's what I like to do because you know we're watching the show, knowing it's gonna end well, right? But it's like the guys at sea for 70 goddamn days, not knowing that which day. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I have fucking no idea. That's like, it reminds me of when I was doing, <laughs> this is such an insult to him, but like, it reminded me when I used to do like freelance work and you have like your paycheck, you know, but you're like, I don't know how long this has to last me. Imagine that though with like fucking food and water that's going to keep your ass alive like that's terrifying so he got found like so goddamn far away from where he took off uh they thought he was dead they legit like pronounced him dead and shit imagine that might be kind of dope though like let's be honest imagine like going missing i fantasize about going missing but like strategically not unplanned um do I want to go live in the fucking woods, kid? I want to just, I feel like in the woods, it'd just be peaceful for a little bit. You should go in the woods, just get some do- sex dolls. You should get a fucking tent, a generator. You know, obviously shit to like ward off animals, but just fucking go missing, kid. Mm. I'm trying to go missing, and then they call me dead, and then I just crip walk back into society. They're just like, ha <laughs> That must be cool though, being being assumed you're dead and then you just fucking Do you think he did that to the bar that he's like a regular at? Uh fucking fucking Mike's been dead for a month and he's just like, nah, bitch. <laughs> and hit the lights. Fucking blast Usher and he's just like, What's that players? Is that Mike? Or he should have did it where it's like a fucking silhouette and he tri- pre- pretend like... <laughs> it's in my mouth. I just get so excited because I have so many things I want to say. Uh, <laughs> or he just like has a white light shine on him and he just scares the fuck out of everyone in that bar. That dude must have got ass after that. I wonder if he ever just followed up with his wife, just lost style. Not lost. What is that? What the fuck's a Tom Hanks movie? Is it lost? Castaway. Yo, fuck his wife in Castaway. That fucking piece of shit. Let's, like, see, that's the thing. Like, he left because his wife, divor- they got divorced, and she was being a little bitch. And, uh, you know, he's not going to go back to her. I wonder if he did, being like, <laughs> I'm alive. She's like, yeah, I don't care. He's like, Fuck. <laughs> oh, what am I, a storyteller now? He knocks on the door. Remember me? She's like, yeah, I thought you are dead. Nope. You trying to make this work? She's like, mm, some fucking big ass dude steps up behind her. Who is this? She's like, it's my ex. And he's like, I thought you are dead. I'm not. You're not? No, I w- if I was dead, I wouldn't be standing here talking to my wife uh i'm not your wife yeah i don't think she's your wife anymore fuck you too so they're not you don't want to get back together she's like no we divorced before you died not during it well fuck you bitch and then he gets back on that boat and round two baby this time his life raft is a sex doll do you think it'd be, like, embarrassing to, like, get caught? Like, imagine surviving, but, like, in an embarrassing way where, like, you know, he just fucking was, like, on a, like, a sex doll fucking thing. He brought all the sex dolls, like, with him because he's, like, fuck. He's, like, doing what I'm saying, but he did it with the ocean. Yo, this this chick sucks. I'm going to go in the ocean with my dolls. And then the boat goes down. He has to time all together. And, like, and then that fucking party boat. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you on sex towels? Help. Help. Uh, you're a pervert. And they just drive away and then he uh, fucks. None of them. Okay, guys, this is hitting the ground. Uh, dude, fuck, fuck Castaway, though. 
That's the story. That's the version of the story that pisses me off more. Like at least this guy came back. I'm assuming you know his family's. Everyone's so excited to see him. Imagine like his parent, like people who like were bummed he died. That like they're like, whoever gets that that where like you think someone's dead and you're grieving, and then they're just like, hey, and you're like, imagine that excitement. You're like, holy fuck, I thought you were dead. He's like, nah, bitch. I was on a raft in the ocean. They're like, you're a le- you're a legend forever. Like you're just you're, the rest of your life is made unless you're about to be a douchebag about it. But God, I couldn't imagine like that thrill of just like, yeah, I thought they were dead, and then he just fucking fell through the roof and then chugged a beer and uh, absolutely destroyed that party. <laughs> But Lost is, or Castaway is my pit, is the version that pisses me off so fucking much. And guys and girls are split down the middle on this. You know, some can vary to both sides, but it's like, I feel like back in the day, you know, if you went missing, like in the World War eras or the wars, whenever those fucking things were, <laughs> wow, do I sound like a, just a douchebag millennial? Who the fuck those were? Tell that to your grandparent. He's like, really? You piece of shit. When was your war? It wasn't my war. Well, when was it? Back then, when the dude just stopped, when the wife stopped getting letters, you know, she just was like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to have faith. I'm waiting. And there is a uh, documentary on, I think, Vietnam or one of the world, I think maybe World War II. I don't know, one of the wars where they're interviewing this lady the whole time. I'm just ruining documentaries for you guys. Um, and, oh, good, 22 minutes. Mm, that was disgusting. Let's cut that out. Can we cut that out? It just pans to a stuffed animal. Can you cut that out after we post edit? You could. Okay. Um. This woman, they're talking about, they're going through, like, the war, all this stuff, and they're interviewing her. And it's one of those things, you ever, like, have it where they're talking about somebody else, but they're interviewing other people, and you're kind of like, I think that person died. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like they would have interviewed that person by now. They don't say it, but they're just, everyone's like, hey, you know, he he, uh, he was a good guy. They always say past tense shit. They did this the whole documentary, and then at the end, fucking just slapped your their nuts in your face and this dude's alive and you're like yo fuck yes this dude went missing he was a prisoner of war and guess what his wife was just sitting there waiting and being like i'm fucking married still so i'm not single i'm not gonna go be a little sloots magoots at the bar i'm gonna sit here do my wife shit Wait for the letters. I think she even wrote a few still. Maybe he just got busy. I'm going to keep sending him some. So just being extra awesome. And, you know, to her uh, optimism, my dude just started writing letters again, came home, and they lived happily ever after. And uh, fuck yes, that's what I'm talking about. Not fucking cast away where this guy's plane was going down. He didn't. She didn't re- fucking... He didn't reply to her text, and she's like, guess I'm fucking thingo. His plane's going down in the fucking ocean, and she's doing body shots off these fucking dudes in the bar. Where's your husband? Uh, you mean my boyfriend? We broke up. Mm, thought you guys were married. Well, guess what? He doesn't want to answer the text. He's now my boyfriend, and I dumped him, so he's my ex-boyfriend. How fucking mad would you be? I couldn't imagine going missing and then your fucking girl just moved on. You're just like, what the fuck? Well, I thought you were dead. You do the math. The, the kid they had together was conceived while you were fucking still with him. You're like, I've been gone for two years. That kid is four. I thought you were dead. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought you were dead. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? And then he's just fine with it. Uh, no. Not on my watch. I fucking come home 
after going missing and I'm eating fucking crab shit and goddamn sand for fucking a year and a half, two years, and I go knock on my door, I see you driving my car, and then some fucking dude opens up like, what's up? And then you're like, who the fuck are you? Uh, I live here. And then the wife comes to the door. Fuck. I thought you were dead. I would literally go, <laughs> oh, and I got a present in the car. And then I would just straight Italian job, whack both of them, roll them in a carpet. And then the fucking dude on the yacht just finds them all rolled up and he fucking. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. He just fucking. Yeah, day 60, I found two people rolled up in a rug with a note that said cheating whore and douchebag shoved in their ass. So I used the paper as a tortilla and I ate them like tacos. Guys, that is an aggressive thing. I watched that show going back to the boat. <laughs> the boat of hot kids that hits him. <laughs> Yeah, fuck yeah. They're fucking all sucking each other off and doing some slutty shit. And then this guy's like, right. <laughs> so happy to see a boat. That's like the polar opposite of the joy of seeing someone who you thought you were dead. This version is you're so happy to see a boat that's going to rescue you. And it's just fucking millennials who have it on autopilot. Yeah, fuck yeah. Just fucking raw dogging each other. And then they fucking smoke his life raft and then he's still alive and he's just like that's like the beginning of a movie where that happens and then it zooms in on him and he goes you're gonna wonder how I got here my name's Tom and then it all the way back to the beginning of his wife being like you're a piece of shit fuck that too hot to handle show on Netflix Jesus Christ those fucking people their head couldn't fit they all just look like these they're not unattractive, but it's like, let's be honest. If you were, I don't know. It's just those shows, you're just like, fuck, and what are you doing? It, they're basically, they all these shows, that show, and then Love is Blind. It's like the cringe level that was, I feel like, discovered in Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore started something that, People have been trying to match for so long, and I don't think the success of a show will ever match that, dude. And if you fucking think Jersey Shore is a bad show or dumb, and you think, <laughs> you like Jersey Shore, <laughs> watch that show and tell me you don't get pumped up, angry, horny, fucking, you just want to smash alcohol. That show was the shit. That show took, like, fucking Sesame Street real world and was like, that's cute. Here, hold my handle of vodka while I literally make your show look like a goddamn PBS fucking show. Jersey Shore is the shit, and now they're all trying to just do this with fucking, let's get hot, people. Tell them they can't fuck. Ugh, these meetings. Imagine that fucking meeting at Netflix. That's why I feel bad for my comic friends who like Netflix doesn't give them specials and then we turn that on and it's just like, hey, I'm, a, I'm Francesca. I'm hot as fuck. And they're just like, what's up? My name's fucking... They all have these like weird poet names. What's up? My name's fucking Scissor. Uh, from Colorado. And I write poems on knives. What? You write poems on knives? Yeah, it's fucking... You know, it's like uh, just a thing I do. And then, <clears throat> and then my friends have to watch that and realize, oh, that's this is what took the spot of... Although it's, it's trash TV, I get it, but... Whose idea? I want to know the ideas that don't get picked up because someone's like, okay, we get, we get these hot people and then we're going to pin on an island. How come there's always an island? We got these hot people, right? We're going to put them on a mountain. Not a mountain. No mountains. No mountains. An island? Okay. We got these hot people, right? We're going to put them in a life raft in Harrison. 
Why does he sound like that? I want to know the age of the person who thought of love is too, or what? I keep calling it love is handle. I want to say too hot to handle. Some pervy fucking Harvey wine scene like, I want to get 10 hot pink. I want to put them on an island. And I want to be in the sand. <laughs> I want to be buried in the sand. No one tells me. And then they'll fuck. They make a sand castle over me. And then I fucking. <laughs> Did the sand just fart? Um, That's one of the girls on the show. <laughs> Am I losing my mind right now? I'm having fucking fun. Fuck you guys. Did the sand just fart? And the guy's so, so the, I love the guy who's so trying to fuck a girl. He is just doesn't care what's happening around him. Did the sand just like literally fart? No, it's fucking no. No, it didn't. What piece of shit thought of that show? I don't know. That's a shitty thing. All these fucking being. Like, and then there's somebody who's, like, generally, like, trying really hard to, like, be creative. And then there's, like, the people who just, like, think of that shit. And you're just, like, that's not creative. That's a fucking dumb show. But it's because it's attractive people and they're fucking hooking up. I feel like there's a, there must be a wall. Or, like, I I envision, like, when you go to Netflix, there's, like, the think tank room. And there it's just, like, four letter four words. And it's, like, hot fucking booze drama and they're just like what can we make with these four things dude love is blind was the most cringe sh- bullshit show that took everything i hate about fucking like dating and relationships and like magnified it where they're like we're gonna make people talk about their passions and get really deep and have dudes like cr- you're like oh god hearing the guys and the girls just like fake like we all know like dating this day and age, right? And then to hear people who understand how, like it's superficial. It's like fucking dating apps. It's looking at pictures. It's Instagram, which I get though. Like we're going to take all that out. But it's like, you know, it's funny to hear the people who are the most superficial considering they audition to be on a dating show on Netflix and then they're now trying to talk about their passions like they don't sound fucking dumb as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If a girl or anybody asked me, like, what... I don't like talking deep. Like, I feel like if that... If I was on that show and I heard through the fucking wall, like... What makes your energy, like, really vibrate? I'd just be like... Ugh. Uh, you say that again? What do you think? Like, what makes your energy, like, vibrate? And, like, what gets you up in the morning? <laughs> Did you just fart? No. Um... <laughs> Look, if somebody ever, like, if I was on a date and some girl's like, what gets you up in the morning? I'm like, no, we're not doing this right now. I don't like getting deep. Just so, maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's because my parents got divorced and I just, like, didn't see. I wasn't born, I wasn't raised in, like, an environment. Like, it has nothing to do with my health. Like, we had a great upbringing. I'm like, I just feel like, ugh. Like you see girls, like or you meet girls, like like talking about their emotions and shit, or just like, and then you. So it basically, let me get, <laughs> like, oh, like zigzaggy that sentence was. I want to wrap this up. Um, but then it's just funny to hear the dudes have to reply to that shit, and you're just like, oh, you guys fucking suck. Uh, just the thought of making the world better, and you know. Knowing that I'm being driven by our Lord and Savior, although I'm doing everything for him, but I'm not religious because they don't know what she likes. They're just trying to like cover the tracks. 
the funniest part of that show was the reveal when the fucking guy was too short for the girl, and she's like, mm-hmm. and you're like, see, that's what it is. Which it's silly. They're like, why are you going to take out looks? That's a huge fucking part of it. You're like, I have to look at you forever if this is going to go as planned. Why the fuck, you know? Can you date someone just on words? Uh, no. The fuck? His fucking small five foot five ass comes out and he's like, babe. And she's like, babe. What's the theme of this episode? If I go missing, you guys better fucking wait. I swear to fucking God. Although, if it's a planned, you got to think, if you ever think about going missing, though, you have to go long enough. You know what I'm saying? You can't just bitch out. You have to commit because there's a window of when you go missing to this point of when people are pissed at you for being gone. We don't know how long that is, right? You want to stay long enough where they're happy to see you when you get back. If you come back too soon, people are going to be more mad at you because that means you just skipped on shit. That's why skipping class, people get pissed at you. You skip school for a day, people are pissed at you because you're coming back too soon. You skip school for a month, (laughs) and then you come back to like, whoa, where the fuck have you been? You're like, yeah, but you see me? Yeah, You're, you're clear, so. I don't condone going missing. If you're going to do it, plan accordingly. Uh, shout out to my dude for surviving on a yacht forever. I want to be on a show called Average to Handle. And it's just a bunch of average looking people fucking where they're like, you guys could fuck, but we're going to blur it out because no one wants to see it. It's the opposite. The show, everyone, we want to watch them all hook up. And then the show I'm on, they just. They're like, no, no one wants to see that. Can you guys, can you stop? Oh, God, that was a great way to end. Guys, thank you for watching. Comment and share. Uh, and be sure to watch that show that I'm going to put the link in the comment, in the bio, or in the description. Seriously, you should watch it. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.